Hello everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at how we can export an image from Google Earth. There are at least a couple of ways by which we can do this. The first way would be to grab a screenshot from the Google Earth viewport and the second way is to use the export to image tool. To grab a screenshot you can go under the edit menu and then you can click on the copy image command or alternatively you can press the shortcut Control alt and c on the keyboard this is going to grab a screenshot of the current view and copy that to your clipboard from there you can paste the screenshot to another application or even to the browser or to an email if you want to attach it there to send it to someone else you can do that just by pressing Control and v on the keyboard or right clicking and choosing paste. The second way by which we can export an image is to use the export image wizard. You can access the wizard by going under the file menu and then under save you can choose to save to image or the shortcut for that is Control alt and s on the keyboard. There is also a shortcut to that on the quick access toolbar it is to the far right so I'm just going to click on that there. Under the map options if you expand the drop down menu you can specify which elements you want to export Let's say that we want to add a title, legend, scale and compass. There's also the HTML area option. If you want to embed HTML code, which Google Earth is going to be able to read. So if, for example, you can embed your web page here or a link to a logo and you can place that on the image. The scaling value is going to dictate the scale of all of the elements that you have on the image. So if we say reduce this to 50%, then every element that we have on the image is also going to be scaled down to 50%. The scale can go above 100%. For instance, if we want to specify a scale of 150, we can do that. The scale of the elements is going to be relative to the resolution that you're exporting at. For instance, if we leave the scale at 150, but we set a higher resolution from the resolution drop-down menu, then obviously all of the elements are also going to be scaled down. So we may want to go back under the map options and bump up the scale even more. Maybe in this case, 300% is going to work. Now, most of the elements that you call out on the image can be moved around just by left clicking, holding and dragging on them to reposition them to a new place. Now, back under the map options, we also have three styles that we can apply to our image. The first one would be the default style that we currently have in Google Earth. The second style is going to be somewhat desaturated version of the first one and the last one is going to be fully grayscale. Now once you're happy with the configuration that you have for your map you can save it out if you prefer so that you can reuse it in future projects and you don't have to redo all of these settings every time. Just by clicking on the save button under map configuration you can choose a location on your hard drive where you want to save out the template to and then just give it a name and click on save and then if you want to reload it just go back under the map options and click on load and navigate to that file and open it up if you want to give a title to your map you can click on this element where it currently says untitled map and this will allow you to give it a title let's say that i want to call this project and then you can also give it a project description. To call out a legend, you have to first of all have elements drawn and you must have them visible in the viewport. The legend is going to automatically detect what elements you have drawn in the viewport and then they're going to be listed under this legend widget here. So just to demonstrate that, I'm going to navigate to a project that I already have opened here. And then I'm going to make sure that all of the elements that I want to call out on the legend are visible in the viewport. Now I'm going to click on the legend widget and I'm going to choose to refresh from the view. This is going to detect all of the different features that I have. And now if I want to give each one of them a name, I can just double click on their name here under the list and I can type the name that I want. And now we can see that the names are going to also be updated under the widget. Now when I'm done, I can close out of this dialog box. Now I gave this project a proper title and a description. And now I may want to adjust the north sign and the scale. These can also be repositioned just by left clicking, holding and dragging them around. So I may want to, for instance, reposition the scale below the description and also place the north sign there. Now I may want to reduce the scale of the elements just so that they are not so overpowering and I can also try to align the scale bar with the description box. 
I'm going to go under the map options drop down menu and reduce the scale down to let's say 150 and now I can expand the description box a bit and align the scale bar just below it and place the north sign just next to it. Now I'm going to center the view into the design. Now I'm going to center the design into view and make sure also that the scale is still properly aligned to the description box. And if I don't like the desaturated style that is currently applied, I can go back under the map options and enable the default style. From here to export this out, I can simply click on the save image button. And now I can choose a location on my hard drive where I want to save it out to. I'm going to call this project plan. And we only have the option to save it out as a JPEG. So I'm going to leave it at that and click on save. Now Google Earth is going to take some time to export out the image. Once it's done, I can find the image on my desktop. So I can just double click on it to preview it. And with that done, we can wrap it up for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope the information was useful. See you in the next session.